Hello. Hello, teacher. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, everyone. How are you? Hi. Hi. Hi, teacher. <laughs> Good Would evening, teacher. Good evening, Good evening, classmate. Good evening. Well, guys, it's 8 o'clock. It's time to start our class. Okay, in a moment, you will be able to see the my class presentation. The topic for this evening class is simple present statement. And this is our class number two. So let's see, today you will be able by the end of the class to make simple present statements using regular verbs. So you are going to learn how to make statements. Well, you already did some statements yesterday in the class when we were practicing. I hope that today you can learn also about a question. So we have recording previous knowledge, then we have an activity, bird race, or bird competition, activity three, practice time, and activity four, wrap up. So let's hola, hola, teacher. Hola, teacher, una, una pregunta. Yes, Daniel. Eh, lo que pasa es que yo estoy, o sea, tengo dos, uh, dos pantallas y como que estoy en otra sala de, de sesión también y no sé qué es lo que está pasando o será que yo me metí en otra sala de reunión, pero estoy así como en dos. Uh, es, es, eh. Hay otro maestro en otra. Ah, ajá, sí, y no sé por qué, pero al momento que usted habla, yo estoy escuchando que habla también y al igual... Eh, no sé, quizás yo estoy en las dos salas, no sé por qué. Si usa Daniel, puede salirse de ambas y luego vuelve a entrar a esta. Ah, ok, ok, gracias. Ok, thanks. Good. Ok, so uh, before we start, I'm going to take the attendance to see who is in the class present. Ok, so please don't forget to say present or here. Ok. So we start with Alba Jocelyn Romero. Alba Jocelyn Romero. Not present, okay. Amalia Beatriz Tobar. I'm here. Thank you, Amalia. Ana Julia Flores de Cetino. Present. Thank you, Ana Julia. Anderson Emanuel Palomo. Anderson Emanuel. Absent. Arely Janet Cornejo Rivas. Absent teacher. Arely Janet. Ok. Sí. Brenda Elizabeth Dimas. Present. Thank you, Brenda. Briseida Janet García. Briseida Janet. I think she said she's going to be only listener. She sent me a message. Briseida knowing me, but I don't see her. Oh, yeah. Briseida, yeah, she's here. Okay. Um, Briseida Yarisa Melgar. Present. Thank you, Briseida. Carlos Adolfo Garcia. Present, miss. 
Thank you, Carlos. Carlos Manuel Velázquez. Not present. Carolina Elizabeth García. Present. Thank you. Selina Yasmin Pérez. I'm here. Thank you, Selina. Cindy Fabiola Molina. Present. Thank you, Cindy. Claudia Carolina Cruz. Present. Thank you, Claudia. Cristian Josué Leiva. Present. Thank you, Cristian. Daniel Enrique Ayala. Present. Thank you, Daniel. Daniel Quijano Gutiérrez. Present, teacher. Thank you, Daniel. Edith Carolina Rivera de Segundo. Edith Carolina, not present. Eduardo Enrique Vázquez. Eduardo Enrique, not present. Elsa Noemí. Por, perdón, Elsa Noelia Portillo. Present. Thank you, Elsa. Erika Noemí Hueso. Present. Thank you, Erika. Stephanie Adai García Ángel. Stephanie García Ángel. Presente. Thank you. Eh, solamente pedirles que recuerden poner su nombre completo tal como aparece en su DUI, ¿ok? Porque luego toma la asistencia a una persona de inglés corporativo y va a ser más fácil si usted va, se conecta con su nombre completo como está en el DUI, ¿ok? Evelyn Janet Rivera. Presente. Thank you, Evelyn. Fátima Jocelyn Portillo. Fátima, apenas la escucho. Fátima, o oh no. No veo a Fátima. Ok. Eh, Gabriel Isaac Guevara. Present. Thank you, Gabriel. Gabriela Alexandra López Borja. Gabriela Alexandra. Gerardo Arturo Guzmán. Jacqueline Beatriz Vigil Sánchez. Present. Thank you. Ginny Lisset. Present. Thank you. José Heriberto Durán Prado. Present. Okay. Great. Okay. Very nice. Thank you. Let's see, somebody said Fatima. Okay, Fatima, you have problems with the audio. Okay, at this moment I will change the attendance. Okay, it's ready. Somebody else that I didn't mention? No? Okay. Thank you. Good. So to start with the class, um, we have some recalling previous knowledge. Oh, it is. Okay. Edith is here now. Okay, just let me, because later I forget. So I'm gonna write here attendance. Thank you. Okay, as I tell you guys, we have so yesterday we learned vocabulary about means of transportation. Do you remember the means of transportation we study? Means of transportation. Do you remember? Yes. For example, bus. Bus. Uh, bicycle. Very Bike. good. Walk. Walk. Motorcycle. Motorcycle. Yes, ride a motorcycle. <coughs> yes, what else? Okay. Taxi. Take okay. a taxi. Exactly. Okay. So over here, um, I have some questions that you are going to discuss. The first question is, how do you get to the shopping mall? And you say, I get to the shopping mall by Uber. That's an example. Another question, do you have a car? You can answer, yes, I do, or no, I don't, okay? Number three, can you drive? Can you drive? Puedes manejar? Can you drive? Yes, I can, or no, I can't. Number four, can you ride a motorcycle or bicycle? You can say, yes, I can, or no, I can't, because I know some people can't ride a bicycle. 
And another question, does someone in your family walk to work? And you can say, yes, my father walks to work every day. That could be an example, okay? So at this moment, I'm gonna send you these questions to the WhatsApp group so that you can practice, you can ask and answer the questions with your group. Okay, I'm looking for the group to send you these. It's here. Okay. Good. And now I'm going to uh, assign you in breakout rooms. You will work in small groups. You are going to answer, ask and answer the question. So I'm going to ask and answer, preguntar y responder las preguntas que están ahí con su información. Okay? Is it clear? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Go to the rooms, please. Go to the breakout rooms. <clears throat> Eh, vale, yo hago la, la primera pregunta. Eh, eh, how do you get to the shopping mall? Eh, se la hago a Fátima Jocelyn. Fátima. No. May, okay, you can ask Claudia Carolina then. <laughs> there's, no, there's no answer from Fatima. Mm -hmm. ¿Qué decir, how do you get to the shopping? How do you get to the shopping mall? By bus, by car, you walk to take a bicycle, you ride a bicycle. How do you get I... to the shopping mall? ¿Cómo llega al centro comercial? How do you get to the shopping mall, Claudia? I, I ride, I ride uh, in the bus, the bus. Okay, you say, I the, 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 the answer is, I get to the shopping mall in bus. By bus, by bus. By, by bus. bus. Yes, by bus. Okay, continue. Now you, Claudia, you can ask Gabriel. The second. Hmm. Tell me the question. Do you, do you have a car? Yes, I you? do. Uh -huh. Okay, continue. Thank you, Amalia. Okay. Evelyn, se escucha bastante televisión. No sé si puede. Stephanie, ask me question. Le voy a preguntar yo a Stephanie, no sé si está. Ok. Do you have a car, Stephanie?
Ok, no está quizás. No, no, no tiene. Ok, you can ask Evelyn Heriberto. Hello? Es Evelyn can ask you, Heriberto. Evelyn, ah, ok. Eh, yes, I, yes, I do. Can you drive? Eh, yes, mm, yes, I can. Yes, I can. Erika, que... Erika, can you can you ride a motorcycle or a bicycle? No, not I not can. Uh, and and you can you ride a motorcycle or bicycle? No, I can't. <laughs> you can ride a bicycle. Bicycle, yes. Ah, okay. But not a motorcycle. No motorcycle. No. It's dangerous, right? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Every day, I'm not going to be. No, no. Does some in your family work, work to work? No. No, my family no works. Work. Okay. Vaya, ahora sería. Hola, Miss. <ríe> Estamos adivinando. Ah, es ok. My family doesn't walk. Doesn't walk. Ah, ok. Era lo que me explicaba ayer, ¿verdad, Miss? Yeah, cuando ponía. Me... Cuando ponía do, don't, y me, me corrigió que en tercera persona es doesn't. Exactly. Ok. Mire, con, estamos hablando con Gerardo, por ejemplo, en la pregunta 1, donde dice, how do you get to the shopping mall? Eh, por ejemplo, aquí dice que I get to the shopping mall by over. Puede poner, si él, si él va manejando, sería I get to the shopping drive o drives. Uh, no, you can say I get to the shopping mall by car, by car, or ah. I drive. I drive to the shopping. I drive. Ah, ok. Entonces yeah. sería by car. Yeah. Y ahí se cerraría como la confirmación de que yo manejo, sin necesidad de poner I drive, sino que by car es como yo voy manejando. Exactly. Ok. Ok. Great. Do you have a car? Es una pregunta simple, ¿verdad? La respuesta sería yes, I do or no, I don't. Very good. Yes, that's correct. In uh, tercera, can you drive? Igual. Ya llegó otra vez. Ah, no. No, es a teacher. Ah, <laughs> yes, did you finish the question? Yes, teacher. Yes, solo yeah. teacher que había otra compañera y se nos escapó. Se salió. No sé qué pasó ahí. Ajá, no sé qué pasó ahí. Was it Alba? Ajá. Era Alba. No recuerdo quién era. Una hoy que me Pero. Entiendo. Ok. Pero ya no está. <risa> Pero nosotros sí, sí hicimos la, la actividad. Very good. Ok, we're going to come back. Ah, ok. I'm sorry, guys, I'm a little bit sick. Mm -hmm. Okay, so as you notice in these questions, right? In these questions, uh, you can notice something very important. The first question is an information question, right? How do you get to the shopping mall? It's asking for information. The second question is yes, no, yes, no question. Why? Because the answer is yes or no. Now, notice something. When you ask with do, the answer would be with do, okay? Or don't, if it's negative. When you ask with can, the answer is with can or can't in the negative form. And when you ask with does, 
This is the third person singular, lo que les explicaba ya de la tercera persona, that the question will be, sorry, the answer also in the third person singular. Yes, yes you can say, yes, my father does. It's yes, a short answer. Does. Or yes, my brother yes, does. does. Yes. It's a short answer. Or a longer answer. Una respuesta más larga. Yes, my father walks to work every day. Or yes, my brother walks to work every day. Or no, my family doesn't walk to work. Okay? Just that. It's just like a... Sorry. Uh, Introduction, Gabriel. The the form negative in the uh, question five. Yes. The negative form. Okay. Would oh sorry. The, the negative form. Sorry. Yeah, it would be this. No, my family doesn't. No, doesn't. Doesn't. That would be short answer. Una corta. Or no, my family. Doesn't work to work. Una más larga. Doesn't work to work. Okay? Okay. Because family, familia, es singular, ¿verdad? Es un, es un noun, collective noun. Es un sustantivo colectivo porque familia se refiere a varias personas, pero solo es, es en la tercera persona. Familia es singular. Familias es plural. Okay, can I continue with the next part of the class? Okay, now in activity two, we have verse rights. Type in the chat as many verbs in English as you can remember, okay? We're gonna use the chat. You will type in the chat all the verbs in English that you can remember, for example. Eat, sleep, write, take, do, swim, dance, Etc. That's my example. So I will give you two minutes. Two minutes. Okay. To to type type para escribir en el en el chat. Type in the chat as many verses you can remember. You can start now. You can start now. Type in the chat all the verbs that you can remember. Y hasta que terminen de escribir, le dan, le dan enter. Solo va a escribir el mero verbo. Teacher, yo no he comprendido muy bien cuál es la actividad que vamos a realizar. ¿Podría explicar? Sí, claro. En el, en el chat de la reunión, que está abajito, van a escribir todos los verbos que se acuerden. En inglés, todos los verbos que se acuerden. Pero escríbanlo separados por una coma y cuando ya terminen de escribirlo, le dan enter, lo envían. Ok, thanks. Por ejemplo, eat, sleep, write. Take, do, swim, and dance. You have two minutes. Twenty seconds. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Dance over. <laughs> okay. So let's see. Very nice. I can see a lot of verbs. Watch, write, write, take, cook, remember, play, jump, walk, work, and dance. 
eat, take, make, and lose. Walk, read, be, eat, learn, teach, cook, write, talk, fly, listen, sleep, swim, study, work, see, smell, speed, go, dry, and buy. Okay, very nice. I can see a lot of. Very good, Ginny. Very good, Gabriela, Heriberto, Briseida. And then Carolina, Gerardo. Very nice. Excellent. I can see. You know a lot of verbs in English, and that's that's fabulous, wonderful, very nice. So now we're gonna have a review of what we studied yesterday with affirmative, negative, and question form or simple present. Okay, simple present statements. A ver, ¿quién me lee los affirmative sentences? ¿Quién me ayuda a leer? Because I have problems in my throat right now. <laughs> Who can help me? Hi. I work, you work, he works, she works, it works, we work, you work, they work. Thank you, Christian. Okay, Heriberto, can you please read the negatives one? Do I work? No, uh, do you work? Sorry, Hello? negative, negative. Ah, oh, negative. Okay, I don't work, you don't work, he doesn't work. She doesn't work, it doesn't work, we don't work, uh, you don't work, they don't work. Exactly, thank you. So you see, affirmative, negative. Only with he, she, and it, in the affirmative form, we add S. In the negative form, we use the auxiliary doesn't, plus the verb, in their base form and complement. Now we have here questions. Uh, let's see. Parece que Carlos quería leer. Carlos Adolfo, the questions, please. Okay, okay, thank you. Uh, the interrogative form, uh, do I work? Do you work? Does he work? Does she work? Does it work? Do we work? Do you work? Do they work? Exactly. They work? Mm -hmm. Trabajo. Tú trabajas. Él trabaja. Ella trabaja. Esto trabaja o funciona. Trabajamos. Ustedes trabajan. Ellos trabajan. Okay. So it's an interrogative form. The structure is do. And that's for the third person, he, she, and it, and the verb in the base form. Remember, in the present simple, affirmative sentences or affirmative statements, I play, he, she, and it. Plays, agregamos la S al verbo, but you, we, and they, it's just plays. Okay? Great. Practice time. Construct sentences using the verbs in the simple present. Affirmative, negative. This is an example. I don't buy eggs in the supermarket. You don't buy expensive cell phones. Juan doesn't buy his lunch in the cafeteria. My mom doesn't buy the tortillas in the neighborhood. She makes the tortillas. The company doesn't buy a lot of toilet paper every month. My brother and I don't buy our books in the school. Evelyn and Ruth don't buy bread in the new bakery. Okay. So what are you going to do? De los verbos que escribieron, van a elegir uno y lo van a conjugar en la forma negativa. Con todas estas, miren, first person, second person, third person, and first person plural, second person plural, and third person plural. Miren con el I, you, he, she, it, the company is como it, they, and they. <ríe> Entonces quiero que usen los diferentes subjects. Okay, pueden escribirlo en su cuaderno y luego mandan una fotito para ver su, cómo están construyendo tus oraciones. Si se fijan, uso el don't 
y el doesn't en la tercera persona. Juan es como he, sustituye a he. My mom sustituye a she. Ajá. The company sustituye a it. it. It, porque es una cosa, no es una persona. ¿Ok? Bye. Entonces vamos a hacer las oraciones en el cuaderno. Write the sentences in your notebook. Va a elegir un verbo y va a conjugarlo en todas estas con todos estos sujetos, ¿verdad? With different ideas. Teacher, yo envié el mío ahí al grupo, no sé si está bien. Yes, I'm going to say that, that I received the first. I don't cook every day. Ah, ok, pero ese es en el presente, Erika. Sería que no tiene que usar yesterday, porque yesterday es ayer. Ayer. Oh, Ajá, okay, que okay, okay. no cocino. Ajá, ayer. Puede ser, Ajá, tenía que ser no cocine ayer, pero ahorita está bien el presente. Sería el pasado. Sería, I don't cook in the morning, or I don't cook the dinner. You don't cook eh, on weekends, for example. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, Jose okay. doesn't cook fish. Uh -huh. The restaurant okay. doesn't cook eh, seafood, marisco, seafood. Juan and Julia don't cook together. No cocinan juntos. <laughs> okay, Jean, okay, okay. okay. tenemos que otro, Carlos García. I don't work every day. You don't walk today. He doesn't cook tomorrow. She doesn't study the next week. He doesn't work. They don't play football. You don't eat cake. Okay. Recuerden que estamos hablando en el presente. No el pasado, no el futuro, sino el presente. 
como rutinas, things that we do every day. Here we have, I don't play soccer in the morning, I don't play in the morning. Juan doesn't play soccer. Solo Heriberto sería eh, la forma en cómo escribió doesn't. Eh, ahí tiene una E de más. La última E no la lleva. Después de la S, sorry, la sorry. N. Ajá. Juan sorry, doesn't play sorry. soccer. No, no problem, no problem. Yeah. We're learning. Juan doesn't play soccer, pero les tengo que corregir. Yes. My father doesn't play soccer in the morning. My brother and I don't play soccer. My Very nice. Jimmy, I don't run. You don't run. Peter doesn't run. Great. Hey. Wow, guys, very intelligent. I'm happy for that. Still waiting for the others to send. Okay, I got Dima. I don't drive. You don't drive. He doesn't. She doesn't drive. Okay. I don't walk. You don't walk to. You don't. I don't walk to the supermarket. Excellent. Let's go. La escuela no camina al parque. <laughs> okay. Don't walk to. Ay, aquí se pone el este, está camino al parque. No está camino al parque. Ah, entonces es el verbo. ¿Qué verbo es? El verbo to be is not on the way to the park. Ajá, ahí tendría que cambiar quizá. Mm. Tal vez puede ser the school doesn't have a park. La escuela no tiene un parque. The school doesn't ah, okay. have a park. You can change it. Okay, guys. Good. Did you finish? Did everybody? Okay, bye, coffee. I don't make coffee at night. At night. Okay, at night. So you say at night. En la noche usamos la preposición at. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for your participation in the in the exercise. Okay, now we are going to learn about the questions. Okay, we have here a conversation in which you will see the questions. I need two volunteers to read the conversation. Jack and Amy. Two volunteers. Uh -huh. Vamos a ver, alguien que no haya participado. Ok, Gabriel and Selena. You start, Gabriel. You start. Ok. Let's go to the park on Sunday. Ok, but let's go in the afternoon. I sleep late on weekend. What? What time do you get up on Sundays? At 10 o'clock. Oh, that's early on Sundays. I get up at noon. Really? Do you eat breakfast then? Sure, I have breakfast every day. Then, then let's let me let me at this restaurant. At one o'clock, they serve 
breakfast all day. All day. Okay, thank you, Selena. Okay, what time um do do they have breakfast on Sundays? What time do they have breakfast on Sundays? In the morning or at noon? At noon, exactly, at one. <laughs> they sleep late on weekends. Do you sleep late on weekends? Sometimes. Sometimes. What time do you wake up, Briseida, when you sleep late? Mm, uh, at nine? At no. nine. Eleven? Or eleven. <laughs> eleven p.m.? Okay, 11, 11 a.m. P.m. A las 11 de la noche. Me duermo. Ah, okay. Los... Okay, and what do you, what time do you get up? Um, on the weekends? Yes. Mm, 8 a.m.? Okay, 8 a.m. <laughs> okay, so you can thank you to say that. Here you can see some uh, questions. For example, we have, what time do you get up on Sunday? What time, sorry, excuse me. I can't do something here. What time do you get up on Sundays? Another one. Do you eat breakfast then? ¿Cuál es una yes no question? ¿Cuál es la dos? ¿Cuál es una yes no question? What time do you get up on Sundays or do you eat breakfast then? Do you eat breakfast then? Do you, do you eat breakfast? Excellent, yes, because the answer is yes or no. Go. ¿Desayunas entonces? Sure, que decir sí, claro que sí, seguro. ¿Y la information question sería? What can you, you get it on Sunday? Exactly, le pregunta algo específico, ¿verdad? ¿Qué le está preguntando? ¿Qué hora se levanta los domingos? La hora, right? What time do you get up on Sundays? Okay. Now, guys, in the next slide, you will see uh, the yes, no questions structure is do or does, the subject, the verb, and the complement. Do you study English? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Ay, no, los, no los escucho convencidos. Do you study English? Yes, yes, I, do. I, yes I, do. I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. <laughs> okay, and the other answer could be no, I don't. Entonces, para responder, se dice responde con yes, más el sujeto y el do or does, dependiendo del sujeto. Yes, she does. Por ejemplo, does Amalia study English? Does Amalia sería el sujeto. Does Amalia study English? Yes, I do. Yes. yes, she is. Yes, she does. Yes, she yes. does. Yes, she, yes, does. she does. Yes, she does. Okay, yeah. another question. Does Carlos Adolfo study eh, Chinese? He. No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. doesn't. Exactly. No, he doesn't. Very good. Okay, vamos a ver otro ejemplo. Do you like ice cream? Mmm. Yes, I do. No, I don't. Okay. Does Max like ice cream? Yes, he does. Yes, he does. No. He does. Cuando pregunto con do, la respuesta va con do or not. Cuando pregunto con does, la respuesta va a ser con does or doesn't. Okay. Y aquí puede ver, podemos verlo ya. Todo completo. Do I swim? Yes, you do. No, you don't. Do you swim? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Does she swim? Yes, she does. Does he swim? Yes, he does. Or no, he doesn't. Does it swim? Yes, he does. Or no, it doesn't. Do we sing? 
Yes, we do. No, you don't. Do you swim? Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Not. Yes, we do. Do they swim? Yes, they do. No, they don't. Gabriel, what is your question? Yes. Do I swim? The answer is yes, yes, you do. Si yo les pregunto a ustedes, yo les pregunto a ustedes, do I swim? Yo nado, do I swim? Oh, yes, yes you teacher, you do. O si les pregunto, do I teach English very well? Les pregunto, yes, enseño yes, inglés bien? Do I teach English very well? Yes, you do, teacher. Yes, you do. <laughs> yes I do. <laughs> ok, porque yo les estoy preguntando a ustedes. Ok, pero si me pregunto yo solita, a mí misma, como decir, a mí mismo, <laughs> soliloquio. <laughs> do I swing? No, I don't. Or yes, I do. Ok, do I teach? English very well? No, I don't. I don't think so. <laughs> okay, just kidding, just kidding. Okay, what, what are we going to do now? Vamos a hacer preguntas. We are going to make questions in the chat. Vamos a hacer algunas preguntitas. Okay. In the chat. Vaya, ustedes pueden preguntarme a mí cosas. Con teacher, do you... For example, do you like horror movies, teacher? Yo les voy a responder. Me van a hacer preguntas a mí ahorita. Okay. I'm waiting for your questions. Yes. Yes. Uh, yes, I do. I love pizza. <laughs> Miss Rocio, do you like seafood? Yes, I do. Especially I do. fish and shrimp. Do you like do you like playing soccer, Seria? Do you like playing soccer? No, I don't. I don't like soccer. I'm sorry. Do you see movies? Yes, of course I do. Do you walk at night, teacher? No, I don't walk because I have. I am here teaching English. <laughs> um. Let's see, do you speak other languages? No, only English and Spanish. I was learning sign language, but I didn't finish. <laughs> do you drive? Yes, I do, I drive. Do you dance? Of course, I love dancing. Do you like dancing? Yes, I do. Do you like That's spicy true. food? Yes, I do, hot food. Eh, lo picante. Do you like It's cooking? Simple. Sería. Fíjense que after el verbo like, si le queremos poner otro verbo, el siguiente verbo tiene que ir en ing. Entonces sería, por ejemplo, do you like doing exercise? Do you like dancing? Así sería. Do you like driving, Seria? Yes, I do. That's my answer. But not in the traffic. <laughs> do you like cooking? Excellent. I love cooking. It's one of my favorite hobbies. When I feel very stressed out, I cook and I feel better. Teacher, tengo una, una duda, pero cuando ya decimos si este eh, ING, no estamos hablando ya de presente continuo. Sí, pero en este caso no. Mire, porque está, es un sustantivo en este caso. Mire, lo usa ah. después del verbo like. 
Ah, ok. Para decir, ¿te gusta cantar? ¿Te gusta nadar? ¿Te gusta bailar? Uh -huh. Ah, ok. Entonces la pregunta está en presente, ¿te gusta? Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Do you like riding a bike? Yes, I do. Do you like, um, yo creo que quería decir riding. Riding, riding, de manejar. No. I prefer cooking, but yes, I like driving. More questions? Do you like, ¿qué quiere decir take? Daniel, quizás quiso poner beber. Do you like drinking? Drinking? I like drinking water. I like drinking soda. <laughs> do you like riding a bike? Yes, I do. Do you like listening to music? Of course, yes, absolutely. I can't live without music. Daniel, yo creo que quería decir que si me gusta beber, ¿verdad? Do you like? Eh, sí, teacher. Uh -huh. Do you like drinking? Drinking. Drinking. Y ahí ha puesto, Miss, do you read? Yes, I do. I read the Bible. Do you have a pet? Yes, I do. I have a cat. Do like learning music? Listening, listening to music. Sería, do you like listening to music? Yes, I do, especially when I am cleaning the house or when I am cooking, I like listening to music. Allí, Arely, Janet, no sé qué quería poner. Pedrín. Drink, con K al final. Do you like drinking? Pero no me dicen qué. <laughs> Because I like drinking water, drinking orange juice. But I don't like drinking beers or alcohol. Okay. Do you like pets? Yes, I do. Especially cats and fish. And turtles, but I only have a cat, a little cat, and it's a girl. <laughs> okay, very nice, people. Excellent. I like your questions. Do you like walking? Yes, I do. Uh, do you like my looking? Es de ver, pero de ver algo en específico. Para ver películas, se usa el verbo watch. Do you like watching movies? Eso sí tienen que tener cuidado en inglés, porque hay verbos que, que um, por ejemplo, look es ver, y watch también es ver, pero watch lo usamos para watch TV, watch a movie, watch a TV program, en look es como mira, mira, look, look at her, mírala a ella. Look at this. Eh, look at this book. Mira este libro. Okay, come on. That way. Oh, she's looking at me. Ella me está viendo. Okay, do you watch Netflix? Yes, I do. Okay, great. Great example. Okay, guys, very good. Ahora vamos a hacer un, un ejercicio. Wrap up, find and correct the mistakes below. Cada oración tiene un, un error. You will tell me what is the, the mistake. He go to bed very early. What is the mistake? The correct form is he goes. goes. He goes to bed very early. Okay, number two. Does they live in Canada? Do they live in Canada? Exacto, sería do. Voy a borrar ahí, pero no me está bien. No. ¡Ay! Ok, do they live in Canada? Ajá, number three. I am usually cook dinner for my family. 
What is the mistake? I do. Number three. I usually, I, I think. I usually. I usually, I usually cook dinner for my family is the correct mm -hmm. form. La, el error es am, um, porque aquí no estamos viendo el verbo to be, estamos viendo otros verbos, otros verbos, no el verbo to be. Ese ya lo vieron en el módulo anterior. Ahora, number four. Are they have a meeting every week? Does. Do. Do they ah, have a meeting? La correcta sería do. Do they. Do they have a meeting every week? Okay. Does John have enough money? He knows the answer. He knows, he knows the answer. He knows, knows the answer. Okay. He knows the answer. Well, let's see it. He knows the answer. Tiene que llevar la S al verbo. Robert plays baseball on the weekend. Robert plays. Plays. Es solamente. Ups. Play. Plays. Sin la E. Sin la E. Solo así. Solo le agrego la S. Robert plays baseball. They has lots of free time. They have. Ajá. Sin la S. Sin la S. Exacto. They have. The Do they the usually house. drive into work? Drive, nada más. Drive, exactly. Very nice. We're good, Annie. Do they usually drive to work? Jenny is not work at a restaurant. It's not work. Doesn't work, exactly. Jenny doesn't work. Doesn't work. Jenny doesn't work at a restaurant. No, 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 I E S. Worries. She worries too much about exams. For other, another example is study. Study. Cry. Cries. Fries. Fry the chicken. She fries the chicken. Okay. We change to I E S. Carry. Cargar. Carry. Carry. Okay. Uh -huh. Very nice. So I can see that you have understood the topic. Excellent. Ahora me gustaría preguntarles cómo van con la plataforma. ¿Cuánto han avanzado? Mal. ¿Por qué, Arely? Porque hoy me estoy perdiendo. <laughs> Vaya. We don't have class tomorrow. No tenemos clase mañana. We don't have class tomorrow. Vamos a trabajar en la plataforma. Vamos a tratar. You can work in the platform. You can work in the platform. And then on Tuesday and Thursday, we will be done. Ya habrán terminado para el, para el jueves. Los jueves en la mañana revisan cuánto se ha progresado en la plataforma. Así okay. que les recomiendo que mañana en el día y en la noche le metan plataforma, ¿sí? Para oh, que no les estén llamando la atención. Ok. okay. <laughs> Gracias. Boys. Ok. Uh, can you tell me what you learned in this class? ¿Qué aprendieron en esta clase? Can you tell me? One person. Questions. 
Okay, Amalia, we learned what kind of words will be done in that sense. Verbs. Uh, we learned, okay, we review verbs. We learned yes, no questions. We do and that. También the answers with do and don't or that and that. Sense. And we review some verbs. Solamente una, una consulta. Uh -huh. Este de lo último que puso allí de cambiar la Y por este. Eso es este a, a los a los verbos, por ejemplo. Ahí me perdí para decirle así. No entendí por qué se le cambia. <ríe> Vaya, es solamente los verbos que terminan en Y. Vaya, voy a escribir aquí un ejemplo. Él estudia. Sí, es. Study. Eso, como es tercera yes, persona, tiene que llevar la S. Entonces, la regla mm -hmm. es que yo le quito la Y y le pongo I E S. He studies French. ¿Verdad? Okay. Ahora otro. My mom fries. Quiero poner fries porque es tercera persona. Entonces, yo le quito la Y y le pongo I E S. My mom fries the potatoes or the chicken. Mamá fríe las papas. ¿Sí? She cries. El verbo es cry, pero como es tercera persona le tengo que poner ese. La regla dice que cuando termine en Y le quito la Y y le pongo A y S. Pero no tiene que llevar este vocal antes de la Y, ¿verdad? Para hacer eso. Tiene Porque que llevar consonante. Problema. Tiene que llevar consonante. Consonante. Okay. En el caso de play, muy bien, muy buena observación. En el caso de play, como lleva una vocal antes, no le voy a quitar esta, ¿verdad? Le voy a poner más vocales. No, no, no. Solo le voy a agregar la S. Esa es una excepción. Porque hay una vocal. Ok. Gracias, Edith. Gracias, Edith. Thank you, teacher. Ok, guys. It was a pleasure to see you this evening. See you on Thursday. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.